Good morning. This is Mark Sebastian, the founder of OptionPit.com. With the AM Volatility Report reminder, none of this should be construed as investment advice. Consult your investment professional. Uh, well, it's up. We've got our events page. We've got our next big set, special Saturday class, uh, options for long-term trading and hedging. Uh, you can go to OptionPit.com slash long-term to uh, check it out. Where are we today? Well, you can see the S&P is down nominally and the VIX is up nominally and, you know, maybe make some sense after the kind of rocket ship higher we've just had. Uh, this is HP. Let me pull up the S SPY here. I mean, we had a really, really nice move higher the last couple of days. I mean, from kind of chop to bang, bang, boom. Uh, a total breakout. And now maybe we need a little bit of a, a breather, a little bit more of a breather here. So I'm not saying that we're going to have a big dip down to the, the 200. But but what do you notice? Look at this. It's slowly, 50 days, slowly creeping up toward the 200. All right. And if you look at VIX, and I know that you don't use technical analysis on VIX, but the 50 day is now below the 200 day moving average. So there is definitely a return of calmness to the market and uh, a change. And I think, you know, that's if you look, oil's kind of doing that a little bit. All right. And, yeah, even, uh, you know, good point. Somebody brought up IB, IWM is, uh, is touching the 200 day moving average. So a little bit of resistance there, but you you can see kind of everything, everything is moving higher, creeping higher. DJX is way is, you know, broken above. All right. And it's 50 days going to get there soon. And NDX too. So I, I think we're in line here for, you know, maybe a breather day here. I don't think you're talking about a 20 or a 30 or 40 point sell off. I think you're talking about less than less than nine if there is a sell off. So I'm not a uh, I'm not a huge believer in a lot of fear and a lot of craziness. Um, and, you know, I just don't see it. Gold's off a little bit. It's been a little softer. You can see bonds are a little up today. Uh, the financials continue to do well. We had uh, I, I think we had a. Uh, we had somebody out today. Um, no, it wasn't Goldman. One of these guys. And, uh, and uh, you know that? Oh, Wells Fargo. That's who. The, you know, Wells Fargo. And, they're, and after a huge up day, they're, you know, they didn't overly disappoint. So the financials maybe are in an area to, uh, to be kind of breaking out. You know, after being kind of the, the ugly dog for a while, Bank of America's up more. And uh, you've got Fargo basically flat after a big up day yesterday. So a lot of the financials are really rallying. And, uh, you know, that's a big thing to be aware of. Um, transpose. Look at, look at the transpose today. AAL. Delta and uh, and you know names like Expedia. There's your little there's a little breakout. Um, so you've got Google kind of flopping or flying around, but the transpos have really broken out. And that's been a, uh, a big piece is that, uh, you know, that they've been kind of this, the, the low, kind of the, the ugly duckling. Uh, and they've since breaking out Delta, AAL, even UAL, which can kind of stink. But uh, then if you look at Priceline, you know, it's had a rough couple of weeks and a nice little recovery for, for PCLN. And uh, Expedia, maybe uh, maybe we finally get that move higher in Expedia that I've been looking for. Um, you know, maybe it finally makes a run back toward that 200 after uh, really just an 
ugly couple of weeks when I thought it was going to rally. All right, folks, uh, on that note, I uh, hope everybody has a great day. You can email me, marketoption.com, with questions. You can call me at 888-TRADE-01, and I will talk to you soon. <coughs>